that is a video. That's the rule. Okay. So, um, so exponent rules. If you had same bases, there's the first rule is this: x to the m. Rule number one is x to the m times x to the n is equal to x to the m plus n. So same bases, I'm multiplying them, they have exponents. I add, I write the base as the answer, the same base, and I just add the exponent, right? Now, variate, okay, examples of this. Let's just do a bunch of examples. Um, so 1a, we'll, we'll do like um, x to the 8 times x to the 3rd equals the same base, x to the 8, 9, 10, 11. You add them together. 8 plus 3 is 11, so it's actually 11. Now, my guess is most of you are like awesome at those. Am I right? And then, but then I can also, 1b, I could also add numbers in there. 2x to the 4th times 5x to the 3rd. All right? In that case, I have to multiply those coefficients first. 2 times 5 is 10. And then I do my x to the 4th times x to the 3rd. So they're the same bases, so I write my base, the x, and I add the 4 plus 3, 7. All right? Um, okay, one other example. Well, maybe two examples. Um, now, if I use numbers, 8, to the 4th times 8 to the 10th, what's my base? Luca, what's my base? Um, what's my base? Say it again. The, uh, base, the base is the thing down, that's down below. Eight. It's 8, right? So they're the same bases, so my answer is going to be that same base. Right? And then I do the 4 plus 10 is 14. Right? Um, I think if there's any other kind of problem. Yeah, one more. 1D. Um, let's say I gave you x to the 4th um, times x to the negative 8. All right. Same bases, right? So... I write the base, which is x, and then it's 4 plus a negative 8. 4 plus a negative 8, which is 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. Eventually, we'll know how we're going to talk about a way to go one step further from there. But it's okay for now to just write it as x to the negative 4. Okay? So th those would be all the examples of that particular rule. Okay? The next rule um, is a shortcut. Okay, the next rule is this. A to the M parenthesis to the N. Maybe I should have just, well, whatever. Okay, equals A to the M times N. That's the second rule. Now, um, can I erase these examples here? Mm -hmm. So let's look at what that might mean. So now this is rule number two. So we'll have 2a as an example. 2a, um, x to the uh, fourth cubed. Now, remember what that means. x to the fourth raised to the third power. The third power means this times itself three times, right? So it's x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth, right? So I could write that as x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth. That's what that means. You guys all see that that's what that means? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? You should be writing everything down on the board. Absolutely everything. You gotta get in the habit of it, because dude, I tell you, you are going to lose it in high school if you don't get in that habit. Um, so that's the same thing. So what would this be? X, same bases, it would be x to the 
4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12, right? Now notice, so that's the long way. There is a shortcut. And if we look at this rule, look at the rule. It says if a base with an exponent is raised to another exponent. You see that? I've got a base with an exponent raised to another exponent. Then I could just multiply this exponent times this exponent. What's the 3 fact? times 4 would be 12. What? Say what? Wouldn't you just put the m um, You wouldn't have to. You, so you could just go like this. x to the 3 times 4 is 12. The way I remember this personally is what does parentheses always mean? Times. Times, right? Parentheses means multiply. So 3 times 4. 3 times 4. 3 times 4. 3 times 4, right? So, okay. So examples of this. Let's just do a few. So 2b. Um, x to the 11 raised to the um, ninth power. Alright, now I would not really want to do x to the 11 times 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 x to the 11 times. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't really want to do that nine times and then add them all up. What would it be? X to the 99. Yes, exactly. So it's just x to the, there's the parenthesis. Parenthesis always means multiply. 9 times 11, so 99. Um, that's about it. There's really not a whole lot more to do on that, so I'll just stop. And then number 3, it's almost identical to number 2. And this is um, where you have A times B. Let me see, I turn on. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Yeah, okay, whatever. Raised to the m power is equal to a to the m times b, oh, let's see, what am I doing? Yeah, times b to the m. Oh, interesting. I just noticed something I've never noticed before. But anyway, <coughs> we won't go there. <laughs> um, uh, so this one, 3a, an example of this might be something like 4x to the fourth power. Right? So think about it. This means, I, it, it basically this means this, 4x times 4x times 4x times 4x, right? That's what that means. Which means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 which is 16 times 16, which is some big number, right? It's, what is 16 times 16? It doesn't matter. Since I don't know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say 4 to the 4th, and I'm going to say x to the 1, x to the 1, x to the 1, x to the 1, x to the 4th, right? So look at this. That's interesting. If that's the right answer, notice the pattern. You see the pattern? This 4 is next to a parenthesis. I am raising the 4 to the 4th power and the x to the 4th power. You with me? See what I'm doing? So it's just 4 to the 4th, x to the 4th. Now, there is a combination of these two powers, I mean, these two rules that you might see, or you will see a lot. And it's, say, like we get this. So 2... Um, x cubed to the fifth power. So remember, there is more than one, ter one uh, thing inside this parenthesis. So I've got to do this fifth power to everything. I could rewrite it as this long way, 2x cubed times 2x cubed times 2x cubed times 2x cubed, times 2x cubed, thank God I didn't do to the 11th power, right? But that's a long way to do it. But then I could say, okay, that means 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 uh, is 16, times 2 is 32. So I could say that's 32, and 
then x to the 3 times 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 x to the 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus, I mean, 6, 9, 12, 15. So I could say x to the 15. Now, that's the hard way. That's what it means, though. That's what this means. But the shortcut is, oh, it's 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 5th power, right? Right? This affects the 2 as well as the x cubed. Right? You with me? So it's 2 to the 5th times x to the, there's the parenthesis, 3 times, I mean 5 times 3, which is 15. Now, in this case, I could go further and say 2 to the 5th is 32 if I want. So I could say 32 x to the 15. Either one of these answers are correct. Either one of those are correct. Right, you get this? Does it make sense? Just to five. Am I, is it making sense to you guys? All right, good. Awesome. There's one more that, um, this is a new one. Well, new one this year. I guess I'll, is this all on here? Please tell me it's all on this. Oh, yes, sure. Okay, four. This is our last one. And it's, we can go back to x's. x to the m over x to the n, we're talking about a fraction now, right? A fraction, and every fraction is what? A, a, a division problem, right? Every It's the numerator divided by the denominator, right? So it makes sense that if, when you multiply same bases that have exponents, and you add them, you add the exponent, you keep the base and you add the exponent, what would you think you would do when you divide? opposite of multiply. You keep the same base, and yes, you subtract them. So I subtract the numerator from the denominator of the exponent. So m minus n. You with me? So that's your final rule. So now we'll do some examples of that. I'm going to just erase this. Okay, so we're on 4, right? 4a. Four Okay, so examples of this. So x to the ninth over x to the fifth. All right, so same bases. They're both x's, and they have powers. They have exponents. So I just write the base. I notice I no longer have a fraction by doing this, right? I'm just writing x. And then I do the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So that gives me x to the fourth. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. For b, another example. Um, what if you had x to the third over x to the eighth? It would be. Go ahead. X to the three minus eight, which is what? Yeah, x to the negative 5. Beautiful. Okay. And then last one, last example for for C. They're pretty they're pretty self-explanatory really. What if I had x to the negative 4 over x to the Actually, wait a minute. Let's make that a positive 4 for a second. I guess I'll do two more. <sighs> this one and one more. x to the positive 4 over x to the negative 2. Now this one you have to be careful because you've got a negative exponent in the bottom. Think about it. The, the formula says same bases, x to the top one 4 minus the bottom one. But the bottom one is negative 2. So it's minus a minus 2. You follow me? You see that? It's not just 4 minus 2. It's 4 minus a minus 2. Minus a minus is plus. plus. So I make those minus minuses pluses. So really, the answer is 4 to the 6th power. That one's a little confusing. Do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. not really. But does it make sense? Do you see it? Do you, get, do you get why? And then the last one, 4D, same idea as this one, except that I'm going to make them both negative. x to the negative 2 over x to the negative 3. All right, so I'm going to put equals. I've got same bases with exponents. 
I do x, the top number is negative 2, and then I put a minus sign, and the bottom, my bottom number is negative 3, so I put negative 3. three. Negative negative 3 is plus 3, right? So it's just x to the 1, right? 3 minus 2 is 1, so x to the 1, or you could just write x. Really? Make sense? That's it. That's all you need to know. So um, that, this was a really...